Yeah. What is good, y'all? And welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. And I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys, man. So, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, bro, and the fact that we in the J.I. HQ, I am back in the city. You know what I'm saying? Been out of the city for about two weeks, man. That's why the videos have been kind of scarce on uploads. Um, I actually ran out of content when I got out there after the first week. So I don't want to go shoot no filler videos for y'all and just have something just to post type deal. I, you know, I want to keep the content engaging and exciting for you guys. So as you guys can see, we're back at the JIHQ. The battery is disconnected. So I'm about to go ahead and reconnect this battery. And then we're going to get a two week old cold start. I can't lie, we got some driving to do because I got, as you guys may or may not know if you've seen the track day vlog, we've got E61 in the car, bro. So we need to burn all that out and go pump some real E85 and get some draggy hits going. you guys so as you guys can see we are in the car right now man now the issue that i need to address as you guys see the aem y band and the ji galaxy both are not working right now um i think that there's a loose wire because as you can see it just cut back on and so did the ji galaxy so basically bro i think either the ground is loose or it's probably the ground is loose or the positive is loose and whenever i hit a bump or something like that it shifts or it unconnects or whatever the case may be and the lights turn off so i think what i'm gonna end up doing is i might just go back to the crib and try to redo the wiring i was gonna have my boy geo like clean up the wires and everything for me but with the AEM going in and out like that, I definitely want it to be connected properly and connected and running the whole time. So we definitely need to go ahead and replace that. But finally back in this car, bro, oh my goodness. Like, y'all don't understand how much I've missed this car, bro. Sheesh, like, I haven't been able to drive my car two weeks bro like it's different when like you don't drive the car because you're choosing not to drive the car bro but when you don't drive the car because you can't drive the car it's like damn like damn for real for real you know what i'm saying so i don't know bro i don't know it's just if you guys have ever been without your car for an extended amount of time then you guys know what I'm talking about, but if you have it, then you're not going to be able to relate for sure. But yeah, man, so like you guys see in the title and the thumbnail, that is the issue that we're having with the car right now. Um, I actually first noticed this when I was leaving the drag strip. I went to do a 6130 hit just to see on the draggy what the car was going to do with the seat out and just me in the car. And like literally mid pull, I hit like a bump in the road and the lights, everything just turned off and the car got to tweaking. So that's 
when I knew, like, okay, bet, something's not right. Um, but yeah, man, that kind of spooked me out for the night, so I stopped doing pulls after that. But yeah, we're about to go ahead and head back to the crib, and I'm going to see if I can redo this wire if I can. Yo, that's crazy. 6 j Camaro with a 360 on it. I know he just did that pull to get my attention just now. For sure, for sure. You you guys already know. Car guys, we that's how we talk. You know what I'm saying? It'd rather be a pull or you rev it. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's how we say what's good. One hour later. Hey, man. I think mission accomplished, y'all. We gonna go ahead and pump some E85 in this joint, man. Because... We finally on uh, empty, no more E61. We about to have, hopefully, E75 or E80. Yeah, sir, Good old fashioned Elote. All right, y'all, so we are here at the E85 station. And like I said, I had a feeling it was gonna be a loose wire. So I went ahead and I popped the hood just to look at it. And the first thing I see is this right here, bro wide angle so you can't really get too close but y'all see that that power wire is just basically pulled out of that connector so i'm not gonna lie quick public service announcement bro the last time i was at the track i had my hood popped and some dudes had walked up on the car literally just like this walked up on the car and was looking at the car you know what i'm saying and i don't mind you looking at the car admiring the car or not i don't admire i don't mind that at all but what 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 does bug me is when you come to my car, you're all in the engine bay, touching on stuff, pulling on wires, like, bro, come on, man. Like, if you're gonna admire the car, you can admire the car, like, I'm not tripping. But don't go touching stuff and pulling on stuff because then you got situations like this where my freaking gauge and my, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, I don't, it's just frustrating, y'all. So what I'm about to do is I'm gonna go ahead and re-secure this connection and take the car, back to the crib obviously and on the drive we'll see if the gates and whatnot if that issue is fixed if it is then that's obviously what it was i've already been talking to my boy geo we're about to redo all of this wiring so you don't see nothing at all and just make it mad clean but we just pumped some e85 let me go ahead and try to see if i can reconnect this real quick all right man. so i've got the hood latch holding y'all in right now but literally, like, bro, this whole wire is basically, oh, no, nah, it's connected. It's just exposed. That motherfucker is just exposed like crazy. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> this is the culprit right here, y'all. <laughs> so it wasn't even this connection but i do need to fix that it was this we're not even connected at all bruh damn 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 and i don't even have any like pliers on me right now to try to reopen this connector I'm gonna run over to the gas uh, attendant and ask them if they got some pliers so I can try to cramp this down. But that's the issue right there, y'all, for sure. I knew it was a power wire issue for sure, just because of the simple fact that the stars and the gauge were cutting off at the same time. And they share the power wires, they don't share a ground. So that's definitely the issue. We'll definitely have to fix that, but let me go see if they might have some pliers in there. All right, y'all, so shout out to the gas attendant. That was no help. <laughs> you feel me? She didn't have one. So I'm just going to have to leave this hole like this, man, and go to the crib. To be honest, at least we don't have an issue to where it's like something else. We know what it is. It's not that big of an issue. I just need to reconnect that better and then cramp it on there so it doesn't clamp it on there so it doesn't come off anymore. But... At least we know what the issue is. Let's go ahead and get this start up on that pure E85, man. You know how it goes. Yeah, search key. Yeah, search key. Every time. No cap. 
So as y'all can see, Gage is definitely back working. JI Galaxy is also working. So we are all good on that note, on that end. We just need to hit a bump and see if it cuts it off again. If it does cut it off again, then it popped back out. But if it doesn't, then we're good. But nine times out of 10, I think we're gonna be good. I'm just gonna have to clamp this on. I needed to go to AutoZone anyway and get some towels. So we finna head to AutoZone. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have some clamps that I can use. So let's go ahead, head over there. The vlog continues. <laughs> yes, Sursky, man. Pulling into that good old AutoZone, bruh. Y'all already know the vibes. I ain't gonna lie, this joint kinda packed, bruh. Damn, this shit kinda dummy packed. Damn. I guess we about to find out if I'm gonna be able to use some flyers or not. Motherfucker is packed, bro. Jesus. I hope they don't got no long ass. Man, you need some stuff, bro. Come to AutoZone. Towels, $16, I think. And Brody them had the pliers. So, even though like I could just go home and do it at the crib, I'd rather just do it now so that I know that it's like fixed. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Yeah, this is definitely the issue. <laughs> That's definitely the issue, bro. That's no good. I'm about to try to open this joint back up a little bit. Open it back up just a little bit and then you're gonna take your wire. You're gonna twist it and make sure that it's like as narrow as possible, bro. You wanna try to get as much wire in that joint as possible and then clamp. Uh, my boy Gio, if you're watching this, dog, we need to hurry up and do this wire fix, bro. For sure, for sure. Like, I can't lie, I can't be sliding around sad like this, bro. Huh? Mustard. You said mustard? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I appreciate yeah. you, bro. I like it. Thank you, Brody. Can we, can we take the picture? Yeah, you yeah. good. No worries, Brody. You have a good one. I had no idea what bro was saying at first. I thought he said you got a mustard. I was like, mustard? I ain't got no mustard, my boy. Family? Got a Camaro. <laughs> All right, y'all. That should, that should be good, at least to make it to the crib. Because at the end of the day, y'all know we don't drive this car like that for real anyway. So I'm about to go take this back to my boy and we're going to get out of here.